Well, I think entrepreneurs are really looking for business information. They're reading the papers, they're reading the trade press, they listen to the news and TV. Everything they're doing, they're looking at for where the business opportunity is. They're, they're hungry for information. When they meet interesting business people, they ask them, how's the business doing, what makes it stand out, etc., etc. That is the real key, a thirst for knowledge. When I sold my company in 2007, I got the Financial Times ad and I went through for pen and I highlighted all the business areas that I could do. So I can't do insurance, I couldn't do IT, but I could do certain sectors and I wanted to find a business area which over the next 20 years would show real growth. And so I boiled that down to four sectors. The sectors are um, forestry. I think forestry is a great one. It's, it's trees get bigger by 4% a year. Um, the great tax advantages for UK resident um, individuals um, and inheritance tax for you, crucially. Um, um, renewable energy, there's definitely going to be a move towards renewable energy. Um, old people, there'll be six times more people over the age of 85 in 2015 than there is um, today. Um, waste, Britain's still landfill, 60% of its waste. There'll be a big move to recycling. Continental Europe, they, they do that. Um, and international water is the last one. 70% of the people in the world don't have access to clean water or sewage. I think that's a terrific um, business area. Well, having identified the sectors with the, with the, the benefit of highlighting the newspaper, I then did uh, some very, very brief research on them. And indeed, um, you don't get to the answer there. It takes years. So it's a th the knowledge build-up over the years ahead. And indeed, you don't invest in four companies a day. You decide those are your four sectors. So I still don't have anything in international water. And I, I'm, I think morally it's a bit difficult investing in old folks homes or things like that. They, seem to offer a pretty unsatisfactory service level to the customers. And so it's really renewable energy I'm in, and I'm in um, recycling. Um, and it's a, it's a, a decade-long process. When I'm speaking to my children about their careers, and the oldest one is 20, and then the second one is 19, um, I talk to them about um, business cycles are going to last for decades. You know, they, they don't want to be in the quick win. I don't want them to go into internet betting, for example. Um, I want to talk about long-term trends, 20 years. And so I sit down to them and say, look, what are you good at? What's going to work for you? Where are the trends in place? And, and um, are you going to move to China? Uh, or are you going to stay in the UK? And if you're going to be in the UK, this sort of thing might work for you. Over the years, um, everybody says, well, it's a difficult business environment, it's a recession coming. Um, my view as an entrepreneur is an entrepreneur. Um, really, some of the great fortunes of all time have been made in periods of war or massive depression or whatever it is. If your competitors are getting taken out or they can't raise capital or, or um, and any number of different issues, um, that's very often allows you to succeed. So when, when, when the black clouds are gathering, that shouldn't put you off. Do you know, I love this idea of what makes a good business because um, there are short-term trading ideas. If you get offered a million bananas, which Sainsbury's have rejected, um, and you can buy them at 10p when, when um, um, you can sell them for a pound a bunch, um, that is a punt. It's a one-off transaction. You'll make quite a lot of money. Um, there isn't an ongoing opportunity for you. Um, if you can get an annuity business, something which pays month after month, ideally by direct debit to high quality companies that aren't going to default in your debt in a growing sector, now that's a great business area to be in. Think life insurance. I mean, what a wonderful business life insurance is.